<laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd be, I'd be getting out of the way hey, too, Milan. <laughs> The lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants. Every single time we put the boat on the water lately, this ridiculously stupid grin comes on my face and I just can't wipe it off. Life is good and the fishing is even better. The last few lateral line fishing missions we have been headed wide chasing the big spring run of kingfish and we have had a ton of fun and caught our fair share of fish. I'm the cameraman slash phone man and I've caught three big kingfish this year and I haven't caught a big kingfish in years previous to that. Milan has had the most insane run. I've seen Milan with a couple of 30 kilo kingfish in his hands. I've seen insane surface strike after surface strike after surface strike. We've had big sharks up beside the boat wasting kingfish. It has just been awesome. But this time around, we are confining ourselves to the harbour because we just love the extra challenge of the harbour. And if you're the man pointing the phone, then the harbour provides such an awesome thing to film. Right now, I am standing on the beach with my feet in the water, the sun on my face, while Milan is rigging up his gear got Milan to stop here just so that I could get a good start talk done and lay it all out so you know what we're up to for the next couple of days but pretty soon I'm gonna be back on the boat my fly rod in hand and first thing up is casting a fly at a marker pole. Milan was in the harbour only a couple of weeks ago he came over here to bring his kids fishing to try and catch some trevally and I never seen any trevally even though Milan reckons he caught some all I seen was a burly trail full of sharks. So why we're here this time, I want to see those sharks and film those sharks and just be in total awe of those sharks. So at some point, we're gonna go pump a burly trail and hope to see some sharks. My fly rod is on board and I hope to be casting flies to catch kingfish. I know exactly what Milan's gonna be doing. He's gonna be trying to catch some kingfish. Wouldn't mind catching some trevally to turn into sashimi on the boat and we are going to be camping on the boat for the next two nights and again staying in this beautiful harbour and just enjoying it for what it is. When we built Zojin one of the things that I most wanted on board Zojin behind that casting platform was also some way of getting as elevated as I could get on the boat. So Dane the legend at Marco Boats made me a little stand to hold the stairs up so that I could stand on top of the stairs and strap myself in and I don't know why but it's just sat in the shed and we haven't used it but this time it is on board and I'm going to be trying to spot fish and film fish from that little spotting tower in the shallows. It's going to be awesome. Milan reckons I'm first up <laughs> so I'm going to rig up my fly rod. We're going to scoop around the corner here and we're going to go and check as many marker poles as we can. This time last year, the marker poles in the harbour were chock-a-block full of big kingfish. I've got some insane drone footage, which you'll be looking at right now, of huge kingies just mulling around marker poles. And if I could just get one of those big fish to eat a fly, it would just be epic. I have been trying for years and years to crack the big kingfish on my fly rod. From there, this harbour is our oyster. This harbour is home for the next three days and I am sure that this harbour is going to show us spectacular, beautiful fishing. And I am looking forward to it.
we have only been on the water half an hour and we've already had some kingy action. I had the drone up forming some nice running shots of the boat and then spotted a black ray, went down to investigate and hello, there was a ray rider. So got the fly rod ready, got the little tower up, went charging in there, got a nice cast in and then let the fly sit down on the bottom and then twitched it as the kingfish was going past and he went screaming over to it, but he was way too smart for me. I don't quite know how to explain this, but he like spit or puffed or blew some water at the fly. I'm guessing he's checking out to see what it is and when it didn't move right or did whatever it did, he uh, turned me down. Comes across for it. Oh, he picks it. Oh, he blows it. Any little fella. God, it's good to see a, a kingfish on a ray again. Spring kingfish are awesome, but this is so <laughs> awesome as well. There is a burly trail pumping now, and we are going to kick back right where we are for the rest of the day. And just being here at the moment is more than enough. A few fish would be awesome, but just going to kick back and enjoy the views, the calmness, the quietness, except for that plane. Milan's got a live bait swimming and a burly trail full of liveies. It's all good. And there is absolutely no pressure to catch a fish today because Nato and his bow and arrow has been swinging around in the trees waiting for fallow deer to walk past and then I've put them in the crock pot and I've got leftover crock pot on board for dinner tonight. She's gonna be good. And at some point, I'm going to be getting off the boat, sitting on the beach, and filming myself a time lapse. Nice drop off. Right on the lip. Sitting on the lip. <laughs> wow, look at the size of it. It's a pretty cool, cool school of bait, man. Carwise? No, they're carwise. Got them. Got them. <laughs> How could you not? We've got a carwise behind the boat. We need to hold that school here with this burley. What that looks like is a whole lot of fun, I think. What are you looking at? There's some donkeys in there.
Tell me a story, Milan. Well, I like catching big trevally, and I know there's a few around, so I'm going to pump a big, filthy burly trail along this bit of a sand drop off into a sand hole, and I'm going to extract those little trevally out. Sashimi time. Current and a good little drop off in a harbour is perfect for catching big trevally. As far as carway goes, a pretty good one. No Trevelli though, eh? No. I think I left that current a little bit too late. Lucky I got venison. We just spied a Trevor in the Burley Trail, but there's heaps of carway, so Milan's got his work cut out for him. Milan reckons he got a Trevor. Got us dinner. Well, I've got a sashimi. sashimi. Look at them all down there. It's our entree. It's a beautiful Trevor Milan. Get it in the boat, man. <laughs> quick, quick. I can taste that sashimi already. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Are you going to grab him? <laughs> Don't you let my dinner go, man. Yo, yo, go Milan. He's a oh, grunter. it's epic. Say something awesome. <laughs> sashimi for dinner. <laughs> yep. Sashimi for dinner. Nice little beautiful little bait. I don't think those trevally here they're so big though. That one didn't. Well that was easy, mission accomplished. Milan got us a trevally to turn into sashimi and that's gonna be the entree before my crock pot venison. So we are gonna gaff it, go find somewhere tucked in out of the wind, um, have some dinner, put up the tent, chill out and just relax, watch the sun go down and <laughs> think about nothingness. It's awesome. We talked about that spot for so long being good for Trevally, and then we go there and we pump a burly trail and it produces Trevally. What did you think was going to happen? I think listening to ourselves a little bit more is probably a good idea, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Home for the night. Right knife to the filling station, would you, boy? I brung a knife. Oh, did you? Right beside the boat. There's a big one right there, Milan. I got a little, another piper. Oh, dude, he'll smash that. Just had an eagle ray smash a live piper. I think it's a black ray. It's got a big long tail too, hey? Nicely. 
Don't like your tail very much, young man. Here we go. Let's go get some We can walk home with him. I don't know if I want to walk around that big tail. Come on. Tap, 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 tap. It's a long tail, man. Yeah. It's not like the normal black rays that we see, eh? There's a short tail and a long tail. Okay. This is the long tail, I'm guessing. You don't want to go in. <laughs> yeah, I'd be, I'd be getting out of the way too, Milan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those cruise cool shot. Yeah, no, I'll leave them to it, man. I think we should have a feast. First bite trend joint coming up. <clears throat> yep. Just like that. How come no, no one's good. how come no one's given us any remedies for Not one. first bite? I don't think there's any remedies for first bite syndrome. Oh beautiful night. Homemade, especially for you bro. Milan's homemade kombucha. Milan did good. The kombucha is good. <laughs> the sashimi was good. My venison is going to be good. And then after that, day one will be complete. I've still got to get my tent up. Milan's trying to um, <laughs> get some charcoals going. My charcoals are going good, bro. And then it will be bedtime. Just like that. The new thing that I'm getting into, trying to make better dinners for Nathan. But it's still cold in the evenings. The final touches. Well, I'm broadening your um, palate. <laughs> That's what we had in Japan, wasn't it? Yep. Yakitori bar. Believe it or not, those are chicken hearts. <laughs> And they're really, really, really good. Next. Next. It's frozen solid. Almost. Uh, Venison casserole. It is frozen. Yeah. It wasn't frozen when it went in there. Guy, it's a good cooker, man. Yep. I've never seen one of those cookers go like that. What is it? A wanti. It's a great cooker. <laughs> Kuma, garlic, onion, venison. What else did I put in there? Tomato paste. And a little sachet thing from the stupid market. Just add rice. Pre-cooked even. <laughs> Pre-cooked even. We're getting pretty good with our going away for dinners. I think I eat better on the boat than I do at home. I know I eat better on the boat than I do at home. <laughs> you did good, how did I do? You're pretty good, brother. Pretty good? Dear casserole, you can't get any better though, eh? <laughs> I got that with love. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it. Brother Michael, thank you very, very much. And makes good chocolate, I'll give him that. I'm about to find out. What say you? That's pretty good. I had some the other night as well. I've been eating it while you've been hunting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> My turn.
I woke up in my tent this morning to splush, 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 Milan walking around in the water outside the boat, and I knew exactly what that meant. And I'm guessing that's happened because neither of us really cared whether we were on the hard or floating in the morning. It's all good, we're just here to enjoy the harbour for what it is, and being stuck on the bottom first thing in the morning is not the end of the world. Right now breakfast is being made, coffee will be had, all the morning chores will be done and then once we are floating we will be off on a kingfish catching mission. Well that's what Mingland keeps talking about at the moment, kingfish, kingfish, kingfish. I caught a trevally yesterday he reckons and that's enough and now we're going kingy fishing. So yeah, just going to kick back, got to get the tent sorted out, get the boat organised. We are finding ourselves in need of a bigger boat these days. <laughs> as much as we love our boat, to go on an overnight mission with the two of us, there is gear everywhere. So we've got to organise all that, get the boat sorted, this tent down, packed away, and by then I'd imagine we'll be floating. <laughs> We have the most fun fishing when you can see your anchor. <laughs> it's a fair call, eh? What's that? We have the most fun fishing when you can see your anchor. Yeah. In the shallows, brother. In the shallows, brother. This is better. Wind just picked up and Milan got a kawaii. <laughs> Milan now has a live kawaii and a live piper in the water. Setting up for the big one. Somebody say coffee. Let's go catch some kingfish. Moving time. There's no kingfish here. Check out this nifty little trick. Got the line coming out of the rod tip, down into the clip, and then out to a dead piper in the current. And then you got the drag set on your reel so when the fish hits the bait, clip pops, gives a little bit of slack line. Pick up the reel, steer right! Gonna try drifting through the entrance with a live bait. It's not a very nice day for it. She's pretty wild. And he says, take me to the good spot. And I shall. <laughs> Stupid yeah. weather. Pressure mounting, dead ahead. 20 metres. Where can you see it? Yeah, I came from up here. Can't yep. I can't Maximum see cast, straight in front of you. To your right more. To your right more. Oh, what was that? You see a lot more when the sun's out. Big. Yeah, he's only kawaii size. Kawaii size kingfish. The 
day started off pretty slow and that it has just continued down the same track. We haven't found very much at all other than kingfish following around the big black stingrays and the kingfish that have been following around the big black stingrays are only little. About the size of a big kahawai. So that coupled with the wind has left the boys here because this spot is the only spot in the harbour out of the wind where we feel like we've got any chance at all and if nothing happens pretty soon I'm going to be on the beach over there doing what I did yesterday which is form time lapses and have the drone on standby just in case Milan hooks up. Beautiful day nonetheless just hanging around enjoying the wide open spaces it is all good maybe a big fish will turn up yet Nicely done, Milan. You're like a little artist. <laughs> I can barely get that, I reckon. <laughs> Thread the through the hole of the needle. You did it, Milan! A whopper! That's awesome! Go and find a big king. Milan now has a live piper and a bait ball of piper at the back of the boat if a kingfish turns up it's going to go charging into there and then all those piper are going to gap it except for Milan's one see the big swirl? no oh I've seen the piper going everywhere though Milan just said kingy and the piper just started walking there he is oh he's just a little fella <laughs> He's going to waste your piper though. I haven't got a piper oh, on. you haven't got a piper on. Quick, get another one. He just came up after it. He came up after the hook. Yeah. What happened? I just missed a hell shot of him on the burly bag. Here we go. Here he is. He eats it. He eats it. <laughs> Live Piper did the trick! Milan's hooked up! It's only a little fish and Milan's got that drum reel and he's getting smashed. What happens if a big one turns up? Nah. Yeah. I'll smash him back. You know what happens when you lose fish on silly gear, man? Everybody at home is laughing just as much as I am. I reckon I got this one under control. That's the other problem with light line in the harbour. Fighting the fish for too long and the shark turns up. See you later, mate! That on a stick bait is the worst kingfish ever. But up here in the harbour, it's the best kingfish ever. <laughs> you always want what you can't have, eh? Yep. Well earned kingfish, that one. <laughs> it is. Especially when the wind's blowing in the harbour. Better to be outside than inside. Those perfect days when you go out, they're the days you want to be inside the harbour. When it's just flat, flat, flat. Then you can go hunting them. But when you can't see them, Make the does the trick. Oh. Well, that was a challenging day. But that's what we got in the harbours for. They're hard work, but some days they just transform into something wonderful and it's just an awesome place to be dinner time.
Oh, pudding even. Cinnamon chocolate. Cinnamon chocolate. Pretty damn good, bro. Yeah, I'm a fan. I listen, I'll make a good wife one day. Nathan. You'll make a good wife. Yeah, one day. <laughs> Well, I've had a very, very, very relaxing day, chilled out in the harbour, watching Milan do his thing and trying to catch kingfish. This place, when it fires, can be awesome. Some of the best fishing I've had is in this very harbour. But at the moment, I think it's still a little bit early in the year. The best fishing I've seen here is leading up to Christmas Day. From now right through till Christmas Day, you can just turn up to absolute carnage and chaos and fish everywhere and then like yesterday and today it can be a struggle but that's why we like it those days when you come in the harbour and it is on fire and there's fish everywhere trying to eat everything makes all the days like today and yesterday all that more worthwhile but yeah that's it now that dinner on the beach has been had we are going to get back on the boat and we are spending the night like 50 meters straight out from where the boat is sitting right now. I'll get the tent up. I'd imagine that both myself and Milan will be in bed pretty early tonight. It's been a big day. It is daylight at the moment. It's like 5.30 in the morning and it is still daylight right now at 8.30. So the boys are ready for their sleeping bags. See you in the morning. seat. <laughs> That's your fault. <laughs> Stupid spill coffee on the seat in the morning. <laughs> you have to wash it off so you've got a wet ass the whole day. Oh, light jacket. Oh, there was a, um, there's fish, there's trevally underneath the eagle rays. Hey. There was trevally underneath the eagle rays. Oh. There's a black ray right here. Short tailed one, because I know what a long tailed one looks like now. Americans, he's seen it. You got the Trevor. Yep. Oh, nice work, Milan. <laughs> we we thought we were going to be late. <laughs> well, we are late. There was a monsters. Was there quite a few there? Yeah, heaps of them. Well, quick, get them in and then get some more. Should we use the net on them? Our, our, our landing net. Yeah, a little bait net, something just to give you a bit more of a chance to get them. We don't like nets, but at times like this, I wish we had one. Hey, you got it, man. That is awesome. Kick what him a out. Donkey Harbour Trevally. <laughs> what a cool fish, man. Well done, Milan. Plan came together. Oh, I've got to get another one. Look at the size of that one down there. Mato's a little bit excited. God, I love it when a plan comes together. It's like a school of like 20 down there now. <laughs> I want to throw my fly right at one. Don't want to a fly sitting on the bottom, I reckon. Yep, I reckon get a little crab fly set up. I've got one already on. Okay, let's do it. Oh, look at the big one behind it. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> look at the one I've got on. Yeah. Look at the one following Oh, there's him. one bigger one following him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Number two, go Milan. Can you get a quick photo? Yeah, I can get a photo, but you just got to show. Ooh, nice fish, Milan. Five of them. Oh, come on, Trevor. Oh, I had a bite. Five of them. Come on, Nato. Hook one. Ten of them in there. They fit it. So hopefully they'll bite it again. I had a bite from one. I pumped the burly hardcore again, get another big butt of burly in the water because they just come into it. Here he is around your fly again. Oh, I got one. Oh, got you one got him. Away. Didn't even need to pump the burly anymore. <laughs> Get him on the 12 weight. Where's your 8 weight? <laughs> Nato's hooked up on his brand new fly reel that he's had for months and hasn't caught a single fish on yet. Meant to be catching kingies on it, but yeah, hey, you get that. Yeah, I've only got a tiny, tiny little hook on that fly. The fly rod is a 12 weight and could easily <laughs> bring this Trevor in, but it's the hook on the end of the line at the, mine, at the moment that is the problem. It's probably the biggest of the day. Hey, 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 dude, 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 it's only a little hook, it's only a little hook. <laughs> I thought you were a fisherman. Oh, oh no, you're a cameraman. Oh, eh? cameraman. Oh, there he goes. Oh. God, he beat my hook. I should have just used the bait net. Oh, well. It's, it's my own fault. The little bait nets there, I could have shoved his head in the bait net and I was like, nah, nah, I'll be right, I'll grab him. <sighs> when you lose a fish on the boat, the rule is that you're off the rod. Tide's just starting to change. We're about to drift over the anchor. Trevally under him, look at him. Yeah, that's what I said before. See, there's a big trevally underneath this, underneath, eagle underneath the eagle ray. That's pretty cool, eh? Big Trevor's sitting in underneath the eagle rays. There is a trevally swimming around with that eagle ray right there. And I can definitely see that one on my phone, Milan's going to cast at him. Sploosh! Here they come. Can you just twitch it a bit closer so I can pick up where it is? Yep. Here he comes. Oh. Is that your bait? Where's your bait? I can't see your bait. There's two Trevelle. Is that one there going to get it? Oh, you ate it? Yep. Which one? Oh, that one. <laughs> oh, Pulled the hook. Pulled the hook on him. Another bait mingling. Quick, 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 quick. Milan's casting his bait forward of the boat, letting the bait hit the bottom and then bouncing the bait across the bottom out the back because the Treve Trevally seemed to be just underneath everything else. There are Trevally on the surface swimming in amongst those fish, but... For the most part, the trevally are on the bottom under the kawai. If you keep the bait under the kawai, you've got more chance of catching a trevally. But the burly trail right now is pretty, pretty cool. Best burly trail in the world, that one. And no kingfish. I am loving our tower. That extra height and elevation. I mean, the deck's well off the water. But just standing on that step gets you another near on a meter above our casting deck and it's just that extra elevation is just unreal for seeing the fish in the water. The trick about Trevally is they have an extremely soft mouth. So when you go real hard on them, you pull the hooks out. What a fish! Oh, 
and where you get the big ones is normally in the harbour. <laughs> Wouldn't have said that myself, the but rocks. today we're getting some good ones. Say something amazing, Mingling. There's something special about sitting in the harbour and catching fish. I know it's not going out and catching monsters one after another, but it's hard work and when you catch the fish, the rewards are there and you feel so much better for it. Trevally up on the surface feeding. Was that a kawaii? Yeah. Took it off the front of the way from off the, the trevally. <laughs> Got it. Was that a kawaii or trevally? Kawaii. Are you letting them go? Yeah. All right, do it. Shouldn't have a problem with them coming back, eh? Hopefully not. We're out of Burley. Last bait going back. Then we'll go hunt the shallows. What are you going to do with your last bait, Mingland? Comes up toit. What'd you get? I think the current was dressing that one up a little bit, Mingland. Oh, come on. <laughs> Back of the harbour wasn't quite what I was hoping for. There's a little bit more wind up there than I had imagined and there was a bunch of weed on the surface and fly fishing in amongst that weed or any lure and fishing in amongst that weed is painful. So we quickly shot out into the entrance of the harbour. There's a marker boy out there that sometimes has kingfish on it and it had kingfish on it. I threw flies at it. Kingfish followed the flies as they do. They didn't eat it. Milan threw sluggo at it. They didn't eat it. Then we threw a live bait at it and they didn't eat that. So that is it. We are calling it a day and what an awesome trip we have just had. We got like five or six big trevally in the chili bin, which is very, very cool. They are awesome eating, awesome sashimi, you name it, they are good for it. So once again, choo choo my brothers for watching the lateral line, because if you didn't watch it, I wouldn't make it. And I like making it, so thanks for watching it. We'll see you again next time. Party on, dudes. The lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants.